Greetings, I am Skylar Horky, and you are watching IC Investigators. So what is a voltage regulator, and why do I need one? A voltage regulator is a circuit that accepts a varying input voltage and outputs a steady voltage so that sensitive devices like integrated circuits can operate how they should, effectively and reliably. So before we build our circuit, let me explain how the breadboard works. Here is an example of a breadboard that I ripped the adhesive backing on off of it. Each of these five holes and these five holes and each each row is connected as you can see on the back they're all connected there and these which are buses are all connected as well and uh, normally they're used for power and ground but that's irrelevant so in the same way this breadboard each of these vertical pathways are all connected now this this thing right here this is called the channel and there's no connection between this row and that row. They are separate because the channel is separating them. And likewise over here we have the buses. All the, this side is all connected together and all of this side is connected together. Now that we've gone over the basics of breadboarding, uh, let's get some components on there. So I'm gonna start with the 7805 since it's a pretty big component. And uh, it's, it's always good to uh, stake out um, claim for the bigger components first. So I'll just start by inserting it right here. Next, we need to identify, we need to get our 100 microfarad capacitor. So I've got a um, capacitor right here and it says 100 microfarad and it's rated for up to 25 volts. So we'll be fine as long as we don't supply more than 25 volts. So the capacitor, we need to locate the negative, since this is an electrolytic capacitor, it has have polarity. This white line right there, and also this shorter lead marks the um, negative side. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in right there. Again, these are not connected yet because this, the channel is separating them, but we'll get to that in a minute. Next, we need to identify the 10 microfarad capacitor. This is rated up to 50 volts, so again, we're good. And uh, so we got the negative side, shorter lead. That goes in right there. So because this is a breadboard, because each of these pathways are, pathways are connected. The negative sides of both capacitors are connected together because of how breadboards work. So I'll just stick those right there. And uh, whenever you're bedboarding with uh, long leads, you always wanna make sure that the leads aren't touching in places that they shouldn't, because that is bad. All right, now, we got these capacitors, but we still need, we need to connect them to the vol voltage regulator. So, I'm gonna take a red wire, it can be any color wire you want, but it is often a good idea to um, color code this stuff. So just got a basic wire, it could be any color you want, and I'm going to bridge over the channel. And you wanna make sure that it's on that, that it, it's on the same row of holes as the topmost lead on the 7805. Oh yeah, and I wanna make sure that this is in this orientation because if it was like that, then that's something else. Uh, orientation matters. All right, so we got that, and we got uh, we got that. Next, I'm gonna take a black black wire, but like I said before, it can be any color you want. It's not it doesn't affect anything. So I got leads there. It's gonna bridge the next set of connections, and basically this one right here. This I use black to represent something that's going to ground, and so this center pin of the IC and these negative leads, they are all going to go to ground. They're all gonna go to the negative side of your battery, basically. And next, I'm gonna take a yellow wire, and it is going to go on the next set of holes right there. 
So you want to make sure it's a, it's really important that this lines up with these three because if this was over here, not going to work. So put that back. All right. So we got, oh, no, oh, I messed up. There we go. So we got our voltage regulator, but we need to connect it to our buses because having a voltage regulator is all nice and good, but we want to be able to use it anywhere on our circuit board or on our breadboard. So I'm going to take a red wire and I'm going to insert it right there and have it go to the red bus. Because this is, this is the output wire. This is It outputs 5 volts on here, uh, measured between here and ground. And I'm lastly, I'm going to put this black wire, middle hole, and then on the negative power bus. Because this needs to get connected to ground. This needs to get connected to everything else. This needs to, this needs to be connected to 0 volts. All right. So we have our voltage regulator, but we want to see it work. We want to see something run. So I've got a 220 ohm resistor. That's uh, red, red, brown, and then uh, gold for tolerance, which is 5%. So I'm going to go ahead and bend the leads a little bit here and insert it on the positive power bus just to a, a pathway. Next, we're going to take an LED, and an LED is a, a light emitting diode, as basically a one-way gate that emits light. Now, we, um, the, the one-way gate part works out. You have to make sure that this is, a, this is another polarity, polarity device, so you have to make sure that you always use the, the shorter leg goes to ground, or uh, closer to ground than the longer lead. There's also a flat side, but that's a little bit harder to show on camera. So I'm going to bend this a little bit, and then we are going to insert it. A uh, longer lead goes next to the resistor, shorter lead goes to the negative or the ground power bus. All right, so we built our circuit, we built something for it to do, so now we need a power source. If you look on the data sheet, for the 7805, there's a there's a voltage level at which it can work. It can't work. You can't give it like 5.1 volts and have it come out to be 5 volts. It has to be over 7. So I've got a uh, I got a 9 volt battery with a um, extension wire uh, with an adapter. And so I'll go ahead and plug these in. Red one goes to the farthest down leg on the integrated circuit. So it goes to like, so it's in line with the yellow wire. And the, the black lead, that goes to anywhere on the black power bus. And see here we have the LED circuit and it works. So to verify that we actually aren't getting five volts out of our voltage regulator. We've got a multimeter set up and we'll just measure between ground and the output and we get 5.07, which is within the tolerance of the data sheet. The main use for this circuit is to supply a steady five volts to any digital circuit, which needs a steady, reliable voltage source in order to work. The 7805 could also be configured as a current regulator. Hmm, sounds like another interesting project.